Hello everyone, I would like to start a series of videos where I talk a little bit about my approach to live coding music with Super Collider. In these videos, I will deal with specific issues that I've stumbled upon in the past and my attempt to solving them. For this, a basic understanding of Super Collider's syntax and general functioning is required. In this first installment, I want to cover a very basic introduction to the library and the environment that I use. JITLIB, an acronym for Just-in-Time Library, is a flexible framework that is used for live coding. It allows the use, modification and interconnection dynamically of proxies. Proxies, in turn, are placeholders that can be redefined. These proxies can refer to functions, patterns or tasks, and they can work at either audio or at control rate. We will see that in short. Proxy space is an environment, a collection of things that can be accessed by name. Proxy space hides some of the functioning of JITLIP, making it easier and neater when it comes to creating or rewriting proxies. But let's start with what happens at a previous stage. When SuperCollider is being launched, it automatically creates an environment that can be accessed by evaluating the following line. In this current environment, Variables, more specifically environment variables, can be expressed by something preceded by a tilde, like this. These tilde and something variables refer to a value within the current environment. In this example, we haven't assigned any value to our tilde variable yet, hence it returns nil when checked. But tilde variable is in itself a shortcut for the following line. And the expression tilde variable equals, say, 400, actually stands for this. To switch to proxy space, we first need to boot the server and then push the new environment, which replaces the current one. We can do all that in one single line. And if we now evaluate current environment, we can verify that we are now in a proxy space, and it's empty. The whole point of this introduction to environments is that within a proxy space, there are no environment variables. Our tilde variable thing now becomes a proxy, as we've seen, a placeholder for something. Should we require now the use of global variables, we would have to turn to single letters, x excluded. And although that's a limitation, I have never encountered a problem with that. But let's start with some sound. This is our first node proxy. Let's play it. We can also stop it, we can play it again and modify it on the fly by changing the function. We can also hear that because the function includes an element of randomness, each time we evaluate it, it sounds different. We can also assign a fade time to it. This fade time, which is set in seconds, allows a smooth transition when changing values within a proxy. Many methods like, for instance, play, stop, clear and free admit a fade time. We can even set a general fade time to the whole proxies in addition to the individual ones. Which means that every proxy, if we don't change that, will have by default this 
same fate time. Important is that when included in the play method, one needs to explicitly indicate a fate time as an argument, but when stopping or clearing the proxy, just the number of seconds between parentheses is enough. Being able to dynamically modify a proxy is definitely one of the most powerful features of the JITLib library. Entire functions can be modified or fully replaced without having to stop the sound. Of course, also individual arguments can be adjusted on the go too, but these must be firstly declared, as it is the case of our tilde sound example. To set the individual arguments, we make use of the set or xset method, where xset crossfades between values according to the seconds indicated by fade time. Proxies can also be paused and resumed. These two methods, however, don't accept a fade time, and one cannot play a paused proxy as much as one cannot resume a stop one. By accessing the proxy, we know two things. One, the proxy works at audio rate, and two, it's stereo. Important is that both attributes cannot be changed on the fly. If one wishes to increase or decrease the number of channels, or if one wishes to switch the rate at which the proxy is working, the proxy needs to be cleared and restarted. In this example, Tilde A refers to a mono signal, and if we want to change that on the fly, we see that we cannot. Of course, we are still able to modify the function. But if we want tilde A to have two channels, we one need to clear it and to reinitialize it like this. On the post window, we can see now that it has two channels. To somehow address this, we can start by initializing an empty proxy simply by playing it. This, by the way, shows how flexible JITLib is in that we can play a proxy that doesn't refer to anything yet. By default, Note will work at audio rate and it will have two channels. So, if we, in the heat of the moment, run something like this, we can on the fly change it to stereo, performing a multi-channel expansion. Another possibility is to start by assigning an audio rate to the proxy, like this. Refer the proxy to a function and play it with a fade time.
we see that although the order we evaluate proxies doesn't need to follow a specific convention, we still need to be careful if we want the sound to resemble our intention. Control rate proxies can be used to control parameters such as amplitude and frequency. By accessing the tilde freak proxy, we can see that it functions at control rate. And just like audio rate proxies, we can adjust it on the fly. Modularity here is the key, as we can use this tilde freak proxy with other ones. The combination of JITLIB and ProxySpace offers extreme versatility and makes live coding easier and flexible. It definitely gets more interesting when used with patterns and one has multiple p-binds sounding together. To me, it feels almost like a conductor improvising with an orchestra. I hope this video has shed any light on the topic. There are plenty of things I left aside for a future video, so please feel free to send me questions and comments. Thanks for watching.